should be live. All right. Testing one, two, three. All right. Everything seems to be pretty good. Like petting a cat. All right. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see here. Last off felt a lot, a lot happened. It felt like felt like a lot happened at least. But let's okay. A lot happened, but wasn't as most bonkers thing ever, but yeah, we've mostly cleared out Brittle Hollow. I'm still petting a cat, um, but we got, you know, Primus Cap, or Camp, Southern Observatory, uh, Skate Pod, Old Settlement. If I'm missing something in the Old Settlement, or the Hanging City, I'd believe it. But, yeah. <laughs> Howdy, dear. Glad to see you back here, Pidmont. <laughs> Sorry, I just have a little kitty here. Just wanting some pets. But yeah, uh, plan for today is probably head back to Brittle Hollow because I've just because I've been informed that I'm missing just one thing to completely mark this off, but it's just kind of hidden. Then also, uh, probably in the same loop, try to head to Hollow's Lantern, figure out what on earth is there to discover here. Hollow's Lantern, but I guess we'll find out. Let's see here. Kinda wanna stop here in case I know this is just the distress signal, but, uh... Let's see here. Yeah, I believe I've read this before. Also, I have a k kitty... ...want it... <laughs> ...patting my leg for attention. Um... Okay.
Oh, and one thing that is small that is an Easter egg on Brittle Hollow. Come on. You. No, you never find the small thing casually. Search. I mean, here sounds like a good an option as anything. Bonk. Ah, that's still so good. Black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. Fun times. Okay. Yeehaw. We're not gonna catch or we uh, slip in. Not in this stream. Also, yeah, I've noticed I sometimes have issues calling back the uh, camera. Mm, okay, we may catch uh, Ruby slipping. Just because of, uh. Yeah. I'm on has 50%. And yeah. Have I been there yet? I felt like I have. Maybe I haven't. Okay. Wait. That's the path. Uh. Okay, yeah, this is them talking about escape pod migrating toward the northern part. Yeah, that takes you there, assuming that uh, stays up. That's where they talk about the eye of the universe. That's below. Careful, I can find a way over there. Find a way to glide over there at least. Whew, all right, Alex. Look out, look out, look out below. Look out for the gravity hole. For should you slip and lose your grip. <laughs> Sorry, let me, I can read this better. <clears throat> look out, look, look out, look out below. Look out for the gravity hole, for should you slip and lose your grip, then into space you'll go. Nice.
that was not the big nor the small thing. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> okay, and that's what I'm talking about the vessel, which it's not like I don't care, but I've already discovered. Adios. God. That's so cool. It would have been incredibly amazing if, uh... They could have... Ooh, worked out. Okay, now I've... Yeah. Um, I guess I know in the making of this game they didn't find out a way how to do uh, time dilation around black holes. Like, they were like hoping to find a way to like make that more pronounced, like so that any time anything fell in, it would have that time dilation. But they just couldn't make it work with the uh, with how the engine was made. Brother wasn't in Escape Pod One with us. Was it? Was he in Pod Two or Pod Three? Was he able to board an Escape Pod at all? We sacrificed too much arriving here. I cannot. I will not allow our clan's greatest loss to be in vain. Programming in circles is hard. Yeah. Also, I just had to read that one again because. Yeah. Cosa, we can hear the other escape pods' distress signals, which gives gives me hope. Foli, are you still here? I'm unsure how to survive in this place without you. I'm unsure how to be me without you. And also, uh, my, my dear, as I'm exploring, trying to find whatever this... Oh, I'm pretty sure this is some text I haven't read before, but, uh, what do you mean programming in circles is hard? Part of me wonders if now I want to. Oof. Sometimes. Okay, I've read stuff down there. This loop. No, it it doesn't help that there's a uh, a lag for uh, 
the stuff, but Mike, because I was asking, I don't know what you mean by part of me wonders now. I think, oh yes, that may be the thing I'm looking for. It fell down at some point. That seems like that's, uh, likely. Or, it feels like the further this goes, the more likely it is that, uh, the thing I'm looking for fell down. You have you seen the thing you're looking for on the other... You have seen the thing you're looking for on the other side of the black hole once. Well, I mean, it kind of doesn't help that I don't know what I'm looking for. Other than you tell me that there's one thing that's easy to miss. I think a hint will help much, because I think I'm going to die. Oh yeah, I can restart the loopy easily. I forgot about that. I can just m meditate. Oof. What's this one? The Ember Twins. I think I need to head off. This direction. Or did I pick the wrong pick the wrong way? Oh well. Hmm. I have no idea why I was I was standing in place and then I suddenly lost uh touch with gravity. That's fun. Hmm. Hey, that's in the back up. On the other side of the black. Closer to here, at least. <sighs> you know, if you... <laughs> I have no idea what you are replying to if you just say, hmm, but with no context due to, uh, the lag. Not lag, but the, like... Oh, I guess it is lag, the stream. Or, like, what the stream's doing. 
Oh, okay, no, I assumed if you said the other side of the black hole. Like, I didn't, if, if you're telling me that what I'm looking for is, like, on the other side of it, I thought you meant, like, geographically on the planet due to, uh, One time I had fallen through the white. Oh, okay. What? You... Let's see here. Ah, no, I met one time I had fallen through to the white hole location. Oh! Well, I mean... <laughs> uh, okay. Unfortunately, I... That doesn't really help too much in my search, because I cannot recall what... Uh, or it's more of so many things, including myself, has fallen through to the white, like, through the black hole, to the white hole, that I just, like, I, that doesn't help me know, know my search too much. Because... I forgot what's over there. That's two levels down. About what you're looking for. Um, maybe. Because, yeah, this is, uh... Look... I think you're looking at the big train to Skull District now. Oh wow, this is that's quite a bit behind then. Cause I have moved on from that. Oh boy. Well, I can get back to that or I know how to easily get back there. And yeah, okay, I've been there. So, like, hmm. I guess the weird thing is, I don't know. Glad to see that Ryback is still, uh, doing alright. Then again, I kind of don't know what I'm looking for right now. Huh, interesting. Wait, did I get too high? I probably got too high. And interesting, that Rybex chunk could potentially be one of the three chunks that just never falls. I mean, that would make sense. Apparently my ship still exists here. Which is surprising, but, uh... Andy. City. Okay. Hanging City. Yeah, okay. I've definitely read this. I can't read this for ship blog.
know it. Where about? To yeah, the, this loop wasn't uh, too successful, but. Think of think about what it is you're looking at. The very tip of the tower. <sighs> I can't extinguish it. <laughs> huh, so you can't extinguish a marshmallow while a uh, supernova is going off. I mean, that's fair. And I appreciate the hint, love. Is, yeah, you kind of... That's one negative thing I can definitely say about this game. I kind of wish, especially, you know, for completionists like myself at times, that uh, there'd be like some indicator that like, oh hey, you're not done here. There's still something left that you haven't uncovered. <laughs> Howdy, sad dolphin. How's it hanging? Didn't find anything. Did I heal to? I didn't think I, I healed to full. Actually, like I was still <laughs> looking pretty. Or maybe I didn't notice the last marshmallow. How much it healed me. Oh, yeah, nice. Um. Hooray. Screaming UI marker. Yeah. Hello, friend. Um. Alright. Uh, I had to remember. To be fair, at least the keynotes get a look for. Uh. Where is the tower? I keep forgetting where it is. I know it's on the equator. I guess looking at the this view should help. Ooh, I dodged that without attempting to. See this what I'm looking for? No, that's a skate pod. I am doing I'm pretty sure it's on the it starts at the shard uh the quantum shard is at the tip of the tower. And my controller has low batteries. 
Thanks, Xbone. Um, great. I don't play for a week and I forget where so many things are. Then again, I have been narrowly avoiding uh, being obliterated. So, I mean, maybe I still, maybe I still have something, something going for me. God, I love how cool that looks. Um, why can't I find? I know where this tower. I've been to this tower. I've found it. I searched it out really quickly before. Oh wait, I'm being dumb. Okay, it's on the other side of one. But there you are. Now, I'm going to pause to scroll back up the chat for your hint, um, and look through the lattice to think what it is you're looking at at the very tip of the tower. Okay. The top of the lattice. I'm looking at the location of the quantum moon. Interesting. Wait. Wait. The quantum moon. Wait. It's Wait, it was that the eye of the universe. What? Oh yeah, and I've read everything in here, I believe, but yeah. It was at the eye of the universe when you looked at the tracker. But when I looked up, it was... Wait, unknown. Oh yeah, that's probably, uh... Game shard. Game shard. Unknown is probably... You're taking my eye off the tracker. right next to Giant's Deep. Theoretically. Now it's my... Huh. So, do you... Re right, pausing to read the chat. So, do you recall what you cannot read in the Quantum Tower? There is a thing missing that Senai confirmed is not in the game at all. But I cannot read in the Quantum Tower. Huh. I vaguely remember that there is a... Uh... Ah, yes. Is it... Like, that there's a stone missing or something? Not stone. Yeah, that there's something missing here. Either, no, not here, but yeah, there's a projection pool reading thing somewhere. 
like either on this top floor or right below it that I was like oh hey is there a projection stone here and yeah we couldn't find it and y'all confirmed it's not in the game which is interesting so the question is why is there a quantum moon lake locator on the tower Oh, this is the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. It's... Oh, wait. No, I think I... Um, they... Okay, at some point, much l later than a lot of the things that we found on the Ember Twin, and some things even on Brittle... Uh, on, on the Ashen Twin... Yeah. They had found a way to land on the quantum moon. And, you know, they want to keep track of it because it's their. It's keyed in to the signal from the eye of the universe. And it, like, hovers around the eye of the universe. And I got my eye off of it. Huh. But, oh yeah, that there was a, uh, but to extrapolate a little bit, there was... Oh yeah, did I pick that up? I don't remember. I think I probably did. But, the question is, not the question, Okay, no, I was hoping I'd be do some slick with that. <laughs> and I should be allowed to make home tower, but oh yes, I got distracted, as I often do. But they're interested in the eye from or the signal from the eye of the universe, as they call it. And the And the quantum moon is linked to that tower. So, you know, if they, and it's, you know, they make pilgrimage to the quantum moon, and they've even built a, uh, a temple on the quantum moon itself, but to get there, you need to know where the quantum, you know, to even, <laughs> to do anything with the quantum moon, you need to know where it is, so you need to find it, but, uh, that's something I've been wondering about, of just, Ooh. Thanks for just no clipping through here. Uh, how much integrity this has? Yeah, a lot. Not a surprise. Um, but yeah. Oh yes, yeah, so I was saying. Right. Uh, that they have, they can shoot one of their gravity shuttles and land it on the moon. And I've been wondering about that, of just like, how do you... Uh... Brain. Oh yes, right, so yeah. They need to find a way to coordinate it. Or not coordinate. Track it. But yeah, to read your question, so what would be the best way to coordinate where the quantum moon is? Uh, I think because of... Best way to coordinate where it is? To make sure... Oh! Uh, I don't know if this is what you're getting at, but I'm thinking potentially to make sure that it's not anywhere that you don't want it to be at. Or anywhere that you can track it not being at, at least. Mm. 
This ship is mighty sturdy. Still, no nothing. Quantum. Oh. Oh, yeah. South Pole. Hmm. Interesting. We've compared the projection stones to. What? What is another thing I've compared the projection stones to? Uh, dog. Well, that you've compared them to? Kind of like phone calls. They're not phone calls, but you know. Like, you're able to see out of them. Therefore, if you had a uh, multiple projection stones set up on multiple you know, places watching the skies, you can keep track. Just have all eyes on the quantum moon, potentially, as it's locating one celestial body to keep it locked down. So where would the other projection pool linked to this one logically be? Ash Twin, I think. That's the one that has the uh, connection to the all the other ones. Right. Er, technically, the white the white hole station. Because it's far enough away that I can keep watch. Or... Jump his gun, but... Cause yeah, no, I remember finding a projection pool like thing somewhere in here, but... I forgot which level. And it's kind of annoying <laughs> to get in there, because I have to wait for it to fall through the, uh, the white hole. Which, it may happen soon enough. That's... you're assuming the tower signal is coming... The tower signal is coming through the projection pool. What? It's coming through. I'm not presume. I'm not assuming that at all. I have no. I okay. Now you're beginning to lose me because I don't get what you're like. What you're what you're assuming or what you're stating. Yes, no, that's that's exactly what I've been thinking this entire time, that the, t the tower has a quantum moon signal, and that would be useful for knowing the location of the moon. Like, yeah, no, I've, I haven't been assuming anything else. You can see it from the top down, just looking above the rectangular hole in the floor. What on... What on earth are you talking about? Goodbye, Quantum Man. Because I was looking... Oh, you're talking about the projection... Ah, there's a projection pool. And the stone. Oh, yeah! I... Yeah, I can see it there. Thanks for the heads up, because I kind of forgot what it is. And I can't tell what that planet is. Because of how round it is, I kind of want to say it's giant steep. Because there's not, like, protrusions going through. Or that might just be because of how zoomed in I am. Oh, the blue marker is the location you're at. Oh, okay, yeah. Apologies. Then again, it has... I've been through a lot. <laughs> I, 
I've... My brain has not been too... I've not been in the best place. For a bit. So, like... Me forgetting that's where you're at isn't, like, yeah. Can I... No. It's... Let me in. Let me... <laughs> ah. Yeah, the stone's where you're called to. Yeah, okay, so... That's... Done something incredibly bonkers. Mm. Not incredibly bonkers. There is not a stone at this location. <laughs> that's that's funny. Oh no. Fuck. What? Fuck. Okay. Alright, let me pause to read this better. There is not a stone at this location, even when it's not fallen. We're trying to find you the other end of the phone. Yes. That's... Oh god, this is confusing as hell. Ah. God, this is confusing as hell. Thank you, little scout. Yes. I wasn't confu... Okay. I think we had a miscommunication here on both ends, because I, I think you were assuming things that about what I was thinking as well, because I was kind of on board with a lot of what you were saying, but you were like, started saying that, or that wasn't, or something, that kind of threw me off. It's fine here. But, yeah. Okay, yeah, this would be... Let's see. Oh! Wouldn't this easily be, uh... Remember? The... At, yeah, the Ash Twins. Because they have the... Connection to everything else, maybe. Oh, I know the scroll does not fit. I am just holding it. I know perfectly well that it does not fit. Oh, you just like the UI element. Yeah, it is cute. Alright. <laughs> ah. Okay. Welcome, so Bellis. Er, Bells. Welcome, Sol Solanum. Sol Solanum. Your arrival here means you've completed your uh, preparations on Giant Steep and are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. Oh, your preparations on Giant Steep. Interesting. On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it's carried me and many in our clan before me, to the Moon's sixth and most secret location. Oh no, I think I've read this before. In uh, the shrine. Be cautious. Can I? Ah, oh, this is what tripped me up. I can't. I can't take it. This is. Mm. I think yeah, I got here before, but 
I don't know if I've ever been here and done this in the right order. That I can't take it out because I can't drop it because I'm in space. Which is a terrible design decision of just, oh hey, oh wait, son of a bitch. I never know this one for. If you're here on your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, you're uh, prepared to set on a deeply significant journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. Uh, we make the journey not only for ourselves, but also the all the members' clan. Crash landed, brittle. Wait, no, I think I. Yeah, I think I have read this one. Damn it! Hardship. <laughs> Reunited. Died. Recall these now. Okay, now I have read this before. Damn it. Yeah, I know where it launched from. That's a no-brainer. It launched from the gravity well, or gravity launcher. Also, like that's a no-brainer. I've kind of figured that out. for us because we didn't really um, we didn't really do a lot or anything new I should say but yeah leading question hmm. I still wish that they would just give me like a little indicator like in here when there's something that you haven't figured out yet where it's like something in uh an orange like this or something like maybe even just orange question marks like hmm like you don't know the thing is well I think uh yeah like I'll give it another look Oh, someone's at the door? Alright. here in a while. Let's give this a gander. see my own spaceship in color.
Wonderball. <laughs> I was about to say Wunderbar, but instead I said Wonderbar. Amazing. Uh, hovering because of the uh, meteors. Okay. From my campsite. The tree ground out of it. This was a tree growing out of it. Ah, this, this one. Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah. Wait, no. Rapek has a sleeping bag. I think they brought spares because they have one next to their uh, to their camp where they're now settled. And yeah. Well, I'm guessing it's somewhere close to or approaching the, uh... the... and there's their ship. Um... the, uh... gravity cannon. Is it? I think it's somewhere. It's somewhere on the equator, right? I think it's on the equator. Ship log to mark things. Oh, yeah, I can. And I circuit navigated. God. Sorry if I'm getting a bit feisty at times, just uh, partially not remembering how this game goes after a bit wrong thing I'm looking towards, and just, yeah, uh, this week has been kind of rough. Here it is. But yeah, this week has been kind of rough for me. So... Also, I'm piling this in the worst way. Just absolutely... Terribly. Yeah, I don't think I've... Have I... No. <laughs> ho ho ho. Interesting. Oh yeah, huh. Brittle hollow, brittle hollow. Okay. We have found the zoom tablet. Yeah, because, okay, this makes sense why I never thought about this, because I'm like, oh, I've been two. Ah, okay, and I don't even need to go down there. Uh, Solanum. I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage, pilgrimage to the quantum moon. That's exciting. You're almost ready, but there's still one more rule you need to learn. Come see me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. The tower is on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path west to the crossroads, you can reach the tower from there. <sighs> My gratitude for the directions, Bellis. Bells. I'll see you soon. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna keep this on me. Just in case.
Um, Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Actually, yeah, that was... that was it. Let's see here. Technically, if I bring this up... No, it wouldn't show up on the other end. Damn. Oh! Oh! That was the only thing you missed. Huh. And, yeah, okay, that's what I thought. You can see it. Wrong, wait. Shard, tower shard. Um, I know it. Um, how do I get down? Oh, so would you like to know to find the Easter egg? I mean, yeah, that one hurt. So, okay, yeah, that just leads that way. Alright. The point... Is plenty. The crosswalks. What? So... Uh... Point your signal scope at the skate pod on this planet. And walk halfway. Okay, you won't be on the surface. Uh, hello. What happened? Thank you. Let me... All up. And you'll find a big tree. Uh, I'll do what I can. Big tree? Pretty big tree. That tree on the left. Distress beacon. Oh. I can hear the other. Huh. Look at the chunk of raised land near its roots. Chunk of raised land near the roots. Should be a triangular thing sticking out of it. Wait, what? Look at the chunk of the raised land near its roots. Okay, so... It would be... 
near its roots, not just... You're standing right next to it. It is not... It's not right next to the tree. I was standing right next to it? here. Hmm. Hmm. It's wedged into the side of the higher bit of land. Oh! Huh. Um, let's... Um... Oh, and sever it- oh, shove it in? Okay. I was gonna look for... Shove it in. Find- oh, s I thought you meant, like, there. You missed the, the line? What? Goodness. Drop skull. Drop, drop, drop. You missed it. Oh, find a scroll wall. Okay. Well, you gotta remember that keep scrolling, and my visibility of the chat isn't the biggest. Just because I wanted to have an overview of some of the things, I guess. Actually, let me pause and do something real quick. So that more chat comes in. Come on, scroll. Okay. That works right now. Let's see here, where is the closest scroll wall? Uh... Now let me go drink some water real quick. Yeah, the altar rock sounds like a uh, guy. Just get out of here. Uh, let's see here. Rain. Melt water would have been faster. Oh. Look, sometimes while you're looking for weird puzzles, your brain goes to weird places. Um, you put- yeah, yeah, he told me to come here, <laughs> and this is the closest one I saw. Uh, is it broken?
Au. <laughs> huh. It's just... Okay, so it's... It's not broken, it's just translating a lot of HTML. <laughs> ah. Yeah, going to melt water would have been faster, but I was just... My brain's kind of fried. <laughs> I say as I chose to stream this puzzly game tonight. I can words. <laughs> oh, that that's cute. Oh gee. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so precious. Okay, this was kind of annoying to find just because I thought it would it looked so different from any other scroll. I thought there'd be some weird rock I would have to shove it into or something, like an adventure game. Yeah, that okay, I'm I'm happy to find this. And yeah, um you know, to read from Sen's comment, uh See, it's neat you can see it reading through the, the HTML by putting the text garble effect and then applying the formatting once all loaded. Um, <laughs> gee. <laughs> Shouldn't there be more to that third one? I'm not... seeing it. Maybe it did break. Which... Oh, there's meant to be a QR code. No, maybe it did break. But only leads to text. Uh. Because, yeah, the scroll doesn't appear in my uh, hand. Yeah, I think it broke. Which is, uh, inter oh, wait, no, there's this one that doesn't have anything in it. But yeah, I noticed that when I got here, um, <laughs> oh my goodness, um, to read from the chat, it will also display a QR code. When scanned, it displays the text, pivots Easter egg. That's beautiful. So yeah, I think something broke, because it's just, it has no, uh, visible display image or model before I even dropped it. Like when I landed here, I was looking at my hand to try to see it, or try to see uh, Ruby carrying it, but there's just nothing in her, in their hand. So yeah, I think it broke a little bit, but that was cute. Ah, it's made of the brittle hollow texture. Ah, and it's not loaded, especially since I didn't, I recalled my, uh, little scout. That's probably what broke it. Mm. It's the same signal as quantum move. Gravity cannon. No, oh, yeah, let's try to do the second, the second Easter egg hunt, or both Easter egg hunt, and also try to find literally anything about the. Uh, or wait, oh no, whatever. Yeah. 
Because, yeah, this fil Hull's Lantern just feels really weird, and I kind of want to... You know, I normally stream for like two hours. So, I just want to... Like, while well, I still have time, I kind of want to knock this one out, because it's just weird that it has, so far, no entries. So yeah, there, there's a bit that's not a volcano that has been uh, exposed as the lava level has lowered. That's where the Easter egg is. Thing is, though, that feels like potentially. Kind of like it could potentially be a lot of. of uh, this, though. Okay, there's a lot of... Okay, not Volcano part. That's where... I mean, that's not Volcano. Would I be able to see it from here? It still has a little lava in the lake. Okay. Is that Volcano? That feels like Volcano, so I won't... Okay, I have to be on foot. You're looking at it. Oh! The... Game? It's trying to land. Um, the part that isn't a volcano, so go look there. I mean, quite a bit. Is that part not a volcano? Pretty sure that part is a volcano. Yeah, that part is a volcano, so... Um... Or is it this that you're talking about? No, that... Oh, wait. <laughs> Come on. It's not too late. It's never too late. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> it's a no my skeleton. That's a Terminator 2 reference. I mean, I don't. Kind of <laughs> ah, beautiful. Alright, so we found both of those, but Hollow's Lantern still has, uh, no, uh, indicators of anything, it, like, you know, it looks partially like the skeleton was one half Terminator reference, one half just a skeleton floating above a volcano. They're like in embedded in lava and doing the uh giving the throwing the horns. It's hard to find. Would you like to know straight up? No. Oh, what are you talking about? Oh, you mean the Hall's Lantern Discovery. Yeah no what? You know what, I guess my... 
I'd like to know, is it actually on Hollow's Lantern? Because I think there's been some discoveries where I've been, like, found things out from being, you know, like, finding out about the uh, probe cannon from here, I think. Okay, so it's on Hollow's Lantern. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it the, uh... You're not the term I'm looking for, but... Uh, college try? I don't know. I... I don't know what... Knowledge... <laughs> I'm uh, going for with this, but... Hey, Quantum Moon. It looks so tiny! Alright, now in second question. Is it in a volcano? I think that's, like... Of all the tricks this game could try to pull... Son of a... Hmm. That the entirety of your hit. Yeah, I figured. I am... Yeah, that's the one thing I needed to know before I tried any nonsense. Was... Can I launch this? Come on. No. Landing camera view over each one will tell you which one it is. That's all you, that's all you need the scout is unless with such a tiny fast moving bass <laughs> the scout. Alright. If you uh, can wait for this to launch another salvo. Come on. Come on. Do it. Because, yeah, I would love to use the little scout. But there, that's the bitch. Uh, I wish I could. <sighs> Good. Wait once more. With feeling. Also, the fact that I can't. Also, just move. Let's go. Is my ship too big? That makes no sense. Okay. It's this one, though. This is the bitch. No! I just want a place to land! <laughs> gotcha. Alright. As long... You can land the... Okay, you can... The scout... Yeah, the scout is kind of useless here, especially. So I can land the ship in that? Do I have to wait for it to... The ship just feels really big. Ugh. Okay. I think I had to use the landing cam view. Pachoo. Alright. But. Alright, the gravity's worse on your poor little body. No, no, yeah, we are kinda little. Fuck. Mm. Oh, I hated that. Uh. 
Mad lads actually built something here. <sighs> Alright. This moon sucks ass. Yeah, no, this moon sucks ass. <sighs> Root. Uh, friends in the Timberhearth Mines, the last type of ore you've sent us uh, survives the longest in direct heat. Can you send us more of the same... Uh, can you send... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> My voice. Ah, now let me reread that. Ah, friends in the Timber Hearth Mines, the last stop Ori sent us or survives the longest in direct heat. Can he send us more of the same for additional testing? We're attempting to prove its uh, durability, and our forge has already burned through everything he sent. Oh, I know. Uh, we'll deliver or we'll deliver more ore to Hollow's Lantern immediately. You must be fired up about crafting the Ash Wind Project's protective shell. My gratitude. I imagine we'll also have an updated estimate soon on how much ore is needed to seal, to seal off the Ashwin project. <laughs> Will there be more than initially thought? Ah, it'll be significantly more. The smallest crack or opening in the protective shell would destroy everything. Oh. Yes, the idea of an encasement that's supernova-proof, however briefly, was kindled has kindled my curiosity. Rootin Dune Cowpo. <laughs> so this is the shitty moon that was part of the Ashwin shell testing. Yeah, shell testing. I mean... Wow. Oh, yeah, this goes back to, uh... Oh, some loading issues. Back here. Didn't the volcano moon used to be called Devil's Forge or something? I mean, I can imagine that, especially for like, uh, for one, this place sucks. Two, uh, I can imagine that as an alpha thing. What's the moon icon look like on the projection pool? Oh, here is the moon. It's... It looks kind of like the silhouette of it, but with a, a triangle in the middle. Both of them are shaded the same. Oh yeah, they're both shaded the same. Two times solar object, two X solar objects complete. Hooray. Now I. Uh, where's my ship? Did my ship fall in? Or did it get launched somewhere? I think we shall dive into the deep. Ah, pity. I was hoping to try to deliver this to the. the museum. <laughs> Uh, yep. Let us just have the most powerful. <laughs> Let's just chill for uh, a couple hours. A couple days? Hours? Okay, that, those Easter eggs are kind of. I know I had some issues following instructions, etc., but those are fun. I I like the what came out of it, so I think we deserved a marshmallow. Two marshmallow, even for two celestial bodies. What would I like to visit first in the? Mm. Mm. 
part of me wants to go to the probe and work inward. But at the same time, I'm very, very excited about, uh... Or samples from Nomai mines on Timberhearth were sent to this volcano for durability testing. The Nomai were trying to craft a briefly supernova-proof shell to case the Ashwin project. Even the smallest crack or opening in the protective shell would destroy everything. Yeah, it would. Um. Yes. We did it. Hooray. Um. Okay, we've- this is mostly done, we just need to find the quantum signal, and... Well, okay, the ocean depths, which we know how to do, I just need to find the correct cyclone. But a part of- mm, Part of me wants to go to the orbital burrow cannon. Yes, there are- Well... I don't know if there's two islands. I know there's the the Bramble Seed one. And then there's the Quantum Signal, definitely. Actually, uh, Gabro's Island Construction Yard, Island, Statue Island. Yeah, I think it's Ocean Depths, and then maybe whatever the hell the Quantum Signal is. Yes, I have not reached everything, so I'm kind of wondering... Uh, what would be more climatic? Going through the pro cannon first and then finishing off Giant Steep, or Giant Steep and then uh, finishing off the uh, orbital pro cannon? So, yeah, I'll give that a bit of time so that y'all can answer. I think, like, I'm gonna go through them all anyway, so. Whatever would be the more kind of climatic climatic uh, finish to, you know, uh, Gavro and the Giant's Deep adventures would be... Yeah, I only got into one of those modules. I do want to figure out Bramble Island, but would it be more rewarding to do that after doing the whole Orbital Pro Cannon, and then being able to launch myself under the ocean. Bramble, <laughs> Bramble Island? Alright then. Let's Bramble Island first, and then Probe Cannon. No, I, you know, that could work, because the next thing afterwards will, in fact, be the Dark Bramble. So maybe Bramble Island, all that, and then Orbital Probe Cannon before going into the thick of it isn't a bad idea. Um... Quantum Signal. Yeah. Hello. Hello. No, there's something I've been wondering if I didn't just lose it immediately. I lost it immediately, didn't I? Never mind. We'll find that out later. Or I guess we can just talk about it. Um, while I get lost in space. But yeah, I was wondering... Uh, can I find the North and South Pole if I try to orbit around or er, land in Canview on the Quantum Moon? Apple what? <laughs> Oh, what did you miss? Yeah, I... That's definitely a mood of uh, my brain going... Bzz, just short. Whatever I said. Ah.
I was just talking about the quantum moon and if I'm hovering over it. Alright. So I'm trying to remember the direction of things. Um, no, I could just land. Help me focus. Reread it, I guess. That spins the opposite direction. Okay, giant steeps uh, rotate clockwise. Okay, so they rotate clockwise. So the one I'm looking for is counterclockwise. Which, would that just be the big one? You reckon finish up Bramble Island and then end up dripping underwater? Okay, no, that is clock. Wait. Yeah, that is clockwise. I think. No, it's not. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, let's get fucked up. Uh. <laughs> it looks like the down one. Like... Like, look at my scout. Er. It went down. And it's seeing the core of the planet, I think. I know it's all the, uh, Bramble. Oh, wait, no, there it... Huh. God, that's fucked up looking. I hate it. Whew. I <laughs> That island is just spooky looking. It's like some fucking Cthulhu shit. Hate that. There's a lantern here. I love how they remind you for the the jetpack booster. In case you haven't been abusing it like I have all the time. And I don't know Ghost Matter protocols, but I like seeing it in advance. Trees detected. Fucked up trees detected. I mean, some of these look like, yeah, the normal trees, and then the... Okay, I have to walk around to get to where I want. I forgot. God, that's fucked up looking. Ugh, I hate this. Pain. Suffering, even. Yeah, no, that's real close. <sighs> and there's a campfire here. What did Gapro find? Mm, let me drink some water. <laughs> Ah, trip four. Entry number, whatever. Crashes two. Born crashes, zero. Remember to see Slate when I get back. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. All the way down to the core. Consider yourself conqueror, giant's deep. You just got Oh! This isn't who I thought it was. I thought this was Gabro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All the way down to the core. Consider yourself conquered, giant's deep. You just got Feldspard. No, I'd like to imagine Feldspar does electric guitar. No, it, you may say, hey, the Hearthkings don't have electric guitar. Tell me, with someone who says Feldspar, would they not do air guitar? They absolutely would. Anyway. Ha! That was one of my most dramatic feats, if I do say so myself. Can't believe I was electrocuted. Ah, I can't wait to tell Hornfell and Gosselin about this one. Gosselin, I guess brute force is always the answer. Right, so, one of the, that's one more off the list. Seems all that's left is the big one now. Dark Bramble, here I come. Huh, of course Feldspar was the one who got here. What? Is this? Is this? <gasps> These are jellyfish. Is that a jelly? Quantum fluctuations. Cave shard. Oh, so many hundred. Oh. These are big jelly. Hmm. I've seen the electric guitar, but it's that video of the guy who left himself by plugging a battery to the guitar strings. My legs not be broken. Oh. Did my ship get to survive this? Apparently it has. I survived this. <sighs> I think quantum. They're big jellies. Is this what the uh, anglerfish eat? Just big jellies. Oh, where's my ship? Thanks. Um, now I'm going in circles. Oh, yes, because I'm trying to avoid uh, ghost matter. That's the... okay. Yeah. If my ship is remotely nearby... Yeah, I'll try to find the quantum signal, maybe. At the time. Whew. Yeah, beep, beep. Where's my ship? Good job, ship. What? Oh. Um. I want to repair that. Yeah, the ship did take quite a bit of a But yeah, these are like jelly.
what? Let me reorient it. No, that's Cape Shard. Unknown. Ah. Okay, no, that launched me out. chat. Apparently jellyfish are able to have a diet of peanut butter, so you can have peanut butter jellyfish. <laughs> uh, you, you missed. Get in the big cyclone. I was trying! It pushed me away. Uh. Uh. Oh! Hello. Okay, I saw it now. Oh, that's sick as hell. Hell yes. <sighs> Let's go. Tower shard. This dope ass thing. Hell yeah, hell yeah. No idea what that is. I'll be broke. Tower time. Hell yeah. It's covered in the quantum. Is it covered in the quantum moon symbol? No, I don't believe. No, that would make sense. Oh wait, yeah, no. Yeah, uh, Peeps wanting to go to the Quantum Moon needed to come to Giant's Deep for preparations before they're ready for their actual launch. Huh, be welcomed in this place. This tower shares with, with all who ask the knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey. This is actually a, oh wow this is a lot up a lot further up than I thought it would be oh this is sick enter this place without friends however there are lessons to learn for yourself I like at some point. So they wouldn't just have you bonk and die. Seek the Wandering Arch. Doesn't this tower like look like an interesting place to take a nap? <laughs> hmm. Then again. Wandering. Uh, 
Ah, okay. Hello? Island shard. Let's see here. Hello, friend. <laughs> Nerd. Um, I say, I like. Where are you? There you are. Seek the wandering arch. Oh. There's no instructions here. Alright, so I'm guessing I just continue. Ah! <laughs> Observing a quantum object. Observing an image of a quantum object. These... Oh! Are the same. Okay, so yeah, taking a photo of it would work. Oh, oh, oh. But, uh... <laughs> Fuck. Oh yeah, I also have fun. Yeah, reading. Makes me... Put down my photography. Why did I do that? Oh well. Come on. On. Okay, now I need to just not habitually just press on the fucking button by accident. Uh, go take the... What happened? Okay, found it. Low-key, I like being able to only hear the thunder, mostly. No rain along the tower. Yeah, it's really good. Hello. The arch and the crystal do not naturally meet. Ah, uh, okay. Arch and the crystal do not naturally meet. Interesting. Way of the crystal. Hmm. Okay. auto-read. Ooh. How I... Dis... Mm. That text... Yeah, no, it popped up and made me... Because of my settings, made me automatically... 
Okay, true. But I'm just kind of wondering if it would stop the crystal from popping up. There. What? Let me go. Go <laughs> unhand me. Let me go. <laughs> now you ah. No, I. That's a good question. How did the gnome I pulled this off in Lord? That is a good question. Okay, I feel like at DAE think the Wandering Arch looks like it has kitty ears. Oh, did anyone else? Um, no I I can ugh. I can see what you mean by that. Oh boy. I feel like I need to... Alright, this is the last one. But we've made it harder. Oh, there are only two crystals in this room. Ooh. Fuck. <sighs> if I die, more like now. past it without the camera again. Okay. Yep. So, I'll come back here. But, you know what? That will make an interesting way to start the next stream, though. Because I think we're out of time. Yeah, I'll finish the lesson next time. We did a lot of <laughs> kind of farting around revisiting Brittle Hollow, but we did find two cute Easter eggs, though. So getting back into it with the uh, the lesson and finishing it for real, that will be a fun way to get back into the swing of things. But yeah, we have accomplished quite a bit of science. So, let's have a few marshmallows. But yeah, yeah thanks for watching the stream. <laughs> I guess if you... Ah, feels weird. I want to kind of try and do a sign off here, but at the same time, it's like, I'd want to introduce people. You know what? You know what? Yeah. I'd... You know what? Yeah. No, I have a playlist on the YouTube with the, the backup, so yeah, I think every time that would be a bad idea, but yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. <laughs>
And we found the two goofy Easter eggs. And now we have something really exciting to get back into next time we, uh, when I stream next week. So I'm looking forward to that next time. Lesson time. The deep. The probe cannon and lessons applied. <laughs> Yeah, it seems like it. Like, we're getting close. No, I, I, I was gonna try to... Like, I'm, I've am i only been streaming for, like, a month or so. Or some two months? I don't know. Look, time's fake. And all too terribly real. Oh. Oh! There's more to explore here. Observing an image of quantum object, these are the same. Oh ho ho ho, so there is more to explore. Oh no, the quant the Tower of Quantum Trials. Okay, okay, okay. This is Bramble Island. An island of thorny vines and what appears to be a frozen jellyfish. It looks like Feldspar camped here before heading off to Dark Bramble. Yeah. Ooh, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. 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 Ah, there. that's gonna be good. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's gonna be real good. To finish off Giant's Deep. Uh, Orbital Probe Cannon, and then... The Bramble. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this, but... Yeah, thanks for watching, <laughs> Um... Gosh, yeah, no, this is, like, this is great. But uh, yeah, um, I guess thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. I guess, uh, tell, tell some friends about it. I know I need to do a better job of advertising my streams more. And also the, uh, the playlist on YouTube with all the, uh, uh, <laughs> Outer Wild stuff, but yeah. Uh, I hope to see y'all next time, and... Thank you for banning. I'm guessing it was a uh, a bot trying to sell followers or whatever. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you had a great evening. Ciao. And now I keep forgetting how to go.